The Street Fighter 6 showcase with my dude Lil Tunchi was just released, bro. That dude was in there for like a minute of time. We're gonna go over the stream and go over some key points. Let's do it, let's do it. This is like the main stuff with the story mode. We got a rival that we're gonna be fighting. As your created character, like they literally released mad creating character stuff for Street Fighter 6. This is the stuff that's crazy here. They're actually teaching people how to play the game, bro. This little tutorial when you first start the game. They're telling you how to do moves, how to do the inputs. They show it down here physically. And then with the reveal of this right here, how Everybody speculating who this character is. This character is indeed Lee Fen. If you guys don't know who Lee Fen is, let me show you, bro. This is Lee Fen from the Street Fighter V story. She's the character that was captured by Shadow Lu. Chun had saved her, took her in as like a younger sister, stepdaughter type of thing. They still have the dojos. You can create a custom emblem. You can customize a jersey for your character in your dojo. So anybody that's in your dojo gets to wear the same outfit that you're wearing. And you guys just post up like this, all up in your same outfits, bro. Fighting ground. This is another thing. The thing that they showed originally was the battle hub fighting ground is basically the same as sf5 story mode fight as many characters as you can until you end up losing right if you're about to lose you can use items to bring your health back up here's a look of the classic costumes for ryu and chun so anybody who was worried they weren't going to be in the game they're going to be in the game bro that was legitimately no doubt about it they have these sound cues that can tell you from where if your opponent's on your left or if they're on your right and it's slower when you're farther and it's it starts to rapidly beep when you get closer they have sound effects for when you get hit they have sound effects for a move crossing up like that basically just when someone jumps and they land behind you hitting you anyone who wants a challenge or vision might not be great but they want to still enjoy fighting game this sound cue thing might help you guys a little bit i don't know what to tell you about the super but this is something that we also saw here the tutorials they're actually teaching you how to play the game here they're making the games more accessible for beginners and making it easier for people to actually learn the game so they have classic modern and dynamic and i guess dynamic it says it's a battle with ai assisted attack I'm assuming it's like auto combos because it says auto attack here square X circle the combo that you do is going to change depending on where you are on the distance from an opponent or the context of the fight just by pressing an attack button we call this control type dynamic and also I want to say the dynamic mode is only for offline play so you cannot use the dynamic mode online this dynamic mode is for the people in the cookout they are also starting to show costumes here as you can see this Kimberly costume we got nostalgia Ken they have the classic arcade mode where you beat up the truck they have the parry mode that they had in third strike with Sean now this was something that was big here they're literally telling you everything about the character then and you can also choose the mode that you choose that you want to play on whether it be modern and and, or classic it even has a description this move can be used to counter targets who would jump in at you or as a follow-up on targets you've launched it does more damage if it connects just as the move begins as an answer try to time it to hit as late as possible it's gonna help so many people learn the game they teach you fundamentals bro it's like your basic knowledge in any fighting game that carries over to all of them they're telling you how to get in to get damage then they have the combo trials where it goes from beginner intermediate and advanced you can change the game speed if a combo is too fast and you can't get the timing you can slow it down to get used to the button presses and then you can speed it up when you get comfortable with the button that are on the screen here's the team battle that they were talking about the exact same as the team battle that's in five basically just pick three characters and it's a kof team type of battle when your first character dies your next character comes in your second character dies your third character comes in and the first one to lose all of their characters loses here's the extreme battle gimmicks is what they call them all run bonds away shocks on mega friend lucky drone no gimmicks stuff like that cool stuff cool stuff you can create rooms unlike the battle lounges if you guys are used to those they still do exist and they have 16 people that can join a lounge bro and you can literally just sit in here and train with each other and do your thing they have online training mode in street fighter 6 bro specific things that you want to learn that's hard to simulate with a bot you guys can find the best ways to deal with whatever's giving you problems online training is a definitely a plus for this if you guys are curious here's the ranks rookie iron bronze silver gold platinum diamond master so i'm assuming they'll add more later but we'll see this is just the base stuff but if you guys also if you guys don't like ranks they have casual mode so casual still exists where you can go online and not have to deal with the nervousness of points being on the line so this was something that was huge unfortunately there is no open beta but they're allowing us to play a demo for the game literally right now at this moment you're seeing this video all the story mode stuff for your character so it's not going to be a, an open beta where we get to play online versus people and play our characters we're able to play this on the ps4 and the ps5 so the xbox and unfortunately pc we have to wait until the 26th to play this junk i don't really care to be honest because i want to play online but for the people that like the story mode aspect of games and like content it's just for you so the last thing i want to talk about here are the dlc these were the characters that were leaked in the uh, initial roster leak that came out rashid aki ed and akuma over here year one slash season one dlc it's gonna be these four that's gonna be in the season pass you can buy them individually or you can get the pass or you can get a, a higher edition that comes with the season pass so 
summer could be anywhere from July, August to September, I'm assuming. I don't know how it works for Japan. Aki is going to be next in autumn of 2023. And then it's Ed in winter of 2024, my guy. This is where this stuff starts to get ridiculous. They're bugging, bro. Spring 2024, April to May, I'd imagine. Akuma's going to be here in 2024. So this roadmap is not as bad as I thought. I thought Akuma was last, which is a Warner Bros move. If you guys are familiar with how Spawn was released in MK11, he literally came out a year after they announced him. So it's like, why even say it, bro? Whether you guys are excited or not, I'm not sure. It's cool. It's cool. I'm, I'm going to try the characters regardless, but it's definitely something. I'm, I'm very surprised that Akuma's not one of the first characters to come out to create the initial hype for the game. Maybe people will wait and still play the game until Akuma comes out because people do love that guy. We'll have to see. But anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for the video. That's a decent amount of things that were shown. Let me know if you guys are excited. More videos to come. Street Fighter 6. We're going hard when the game does release. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Tavius out of here, baby.